Hi, so in this video, we're gonna go over the APCSA uh, unit one topics of printing variables and expressions. So we've got the slides here and we've also got our code editor and we'll kind of mix and match between those two. So uh, we've got two types of printing that you can do in Java and like this is gonna be one of the first things you do printing is to show stuff on the screen and you can either do system.out.println, which is the thing you're gonna use the most and that's what you're gonna get most used to doing and that prints stuff on individual lines, shows messages on individual lines. But you can also do system.out.print. So we're going to copy paste this into our pick code code editor over here and we're gonna fix up our indents and we'll run this code and we'll see that uh, what's up and what's up again, those get printed on two separate lines. But if we change this from print line to print, both of those, then we'll see that these messages get smushed onto a single line. Okay, so that's kind of the difference between print line and print. Okay, so uh, syntax error, uh, those are things that'll happen as you are programming and uh, you know, uh, you'll have, this will happen all the time. We're just kind of giving you the vocab and like what'll happen as you get started programming. Uh, here's a really common syntax error that you might get. Uh, you're going to forget to put a semicolon, and uh, this is going to happen to you every single day that you're programming in Java, uh, and it's just something that happens. Uh, but maybe you forget a couple things. Maybe you forget uh, a parentheses, so it'll say parentheses expected. Uh, maybe you forget a curly brace, and that'll really mess up your program. Uh, so I'm going to undo, edit undo a few of these and get back to working code. Uh, but syntax errors are something that kind of just happens all the time. Okay. So uh, there are more types of errors. Uh, logic errors are when your program, uh, you wanted it to do one thing, but you programmed it and you made a mistake and now it does something different. So uh, here's an example of something that might happen in real life. Uh, you buy something on Amazon, it's supposed to be 10 bucks and they charge you a hundred bucks. Uh, that would be a logic error on Amazon's part. Uh, that'd be a pretty bad one. So, uh, you know, when you're programming, you're always uh, going through the process of debugging, which is to go through and check your code and make sure that you don't have these sorts of mistakes. Because uh, when you go on to do programming outside of AP Java, uh, you're going to have uh, kind of more consequences. There are going to be more uh, real life scenarios where your code actually matters. Okay, so uh, moving on here, uh, we've got comments. Uh, comments are just a type of thing in Java. Um, where you can, uh, we can take this and we can take code that looks like this with either the slash slash or this big comment. Um, and again, we're always gonna have to fix our indenting when we put this stuff in here. But uh, you could do this, you can do this, blah, blah. And whatever you type in those comments, they have no effect on your program. So. Uh, you'll see comments a lot in um, kind of AP multiple choice questions or in free response questions. They'll put a lot of information inside of the comments. And uh, it's important that you can read the comments and understand what's going on inside of them. They'll be related to the code and they might tell you what the code is doing or some information about the code, uh, but they're not uh, going to change what the program itself actually does. And so you can see uh, no matter what we put in here uh, in the comments, uh, they're not every time we run the code, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything different. Okay. And so that as opposed to a print statement, right? What you put in a print statement does affect what the program does because it prints that stuff out. Okay. So, uh, this is just more vocab uh, as you're learning about printing and expressions and all of this different stuff that we're going to review in this, in this, uh, uh, slideshow. And in this video, uh, a string literal, this is just a fancy name for the stuff that goes in quotes. So I have some examples here. And in our code editor, what's up here in quotes is a string literal. Uh, what's up again here in quotes is a string literal. So two examples there. Cool. So uh, just more vocab for getting started with Java and getting getting your hands on all of this stuff. Uh, the class main, public static void main, all of this stuff, um, this is called the main method. And uh, every Java program for uh, current versions of Java, although there's future versions where you won't need this actually, but uh, for right now, uh, every Java program needs a main method for it to do anything when you go and run it. So no matter what editor you're using, I use pick code here, because uh, it's the pick code YouTube channel. But uh, if you go press the play button there, or you press run button in somewhere else, or you have VS code and it does something, or Eclipse, or whatever program you're using to do your Java, um, when you run it, that program is going to run the main method. 
Um, we'll learn what methods are later, and we'll learn what all these different words mean later. But for now, you just need to know that uh, the code that you want to run needs to go inside of the main method. OK, so let's get a little fancier. Um, again, as promised in the title of this video, uh, we want to talk about variables and expressions and all this extra stuff here. So uh, you're not just going to print out string literals over and over again. That would be a very boring programming language, and this would be a very boring course. So uh, variables are kind of what allows you to start making your programs do more interesting stuff. So uh, a variable really, uh, this line is, I think, what is the most important thing that I would say about variables. So uh, in Java, all variables have a name, a type, and a value. So uh, this slide here, you know, kind of describes what's going on. But uh, the most important thing, and you know, at any point, if you want to like sit down and like really read the slides, just pause the video um, and they're there. Uh, but uh, I'm going to kind of go through at my own pace here. So the most important thing to understand about variables uh, are that they have a name, a type, and a value. So first of all, we'll, we'll go through the, what the different types of variables are. So variables, data, information. So data or information might have different types. So a uh, string is text information, like hey or hello or nice. Ints stands for integer, which is something you might have learned that word in math class. Uh, and that is whole numbers. Uh, doubles are uh, decimal numbers, so 1.0, 2.5, uh, and ints or doubles can be negative or positive, doesn't matter. And then Booleans we'll get into later, uh, those are true and false values. Okay, so I think variables are easier to understand once you get some examples. So uh, we have some code snippets here. Uh, my name, uh, my name in real life is Charlie, uh, and so I have a variable here. It has a type of string, it has a name of my name, and it has a value of Charlie. Here's a different one. This is an integer variable. This type is integer. The name is game score and the value is zero. So you put the value after the equal sign. And so the equal sign in Java is important. It's, uh, we call it the, like the assignment operator. It's not, uh, it, it means that we're saying that this variable has this value. That's the vocab we would use. That's how we would say that in a complete sentence. We, they're not saying like equals like you would say in math, like x equals seven. It's more um, for right now, we want this variable to be equal to this value for right now. And so we'll get into that in a second uh, because variables, uh, they are variable, which means they can vary in value, which means that they can change. Uh, so we'll get to that in a second. And uh, yeah, so I had examples there where all of the variables um, there's two different things that go on. They get declared and then they get initialized. So uh, declaration of a variable is when you have the uh, when you have the type and the name. Uh, that combination is the declaration of the variable. And then the initialization of the variable is the first time you set the value. So uh, I'm using words like set and assign. Uh, the equal sign allows you to set the value of a variable or assign the value of a variable. Those are synonyms, uh, and so I'll say those interchangeably. Uh, but you can do the declaration and initialization of a variable on two separate lines. Uh, and it's good vocab to know that the name and type part of a variable, uh, that's the declaration. And then uh, the first time that you give the variable a value, uh, you assign the variable a value, uh, that means you are initializing a variable. A lot of vocab in Java. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, assignment statements, uh, so uh, let's see. So assignment statements are really where you, uh, things get more interesting. So this is where you change the value of a variable. So we'll actually put this in the code editor to make sure that we actually know how this is going and that I'm not lying on the slides. But you can, as we described, we can declare and initialize, we can create our variable uh, on this line and then we can print out the value and this this print statement is going to say, my value, my name, what is that? That's a variable that was declared up here, and it has a value of Charles, so I'm going to print Charles, and that's my legal name. Now, if we add code below that says, my name equals Charlie, and we system.out.println my name, it's going to say, what is the most recent value of the variable Charlie? And keywords, most recent. Uh, and so what is the most recent uh, value of the variable my name? And the most recent value is Charlie. So it'll print out Charlie. So let's let's put this in the code editor and, and see what happens. 
So I'm going to delete all this stuff and I'm going to put this in and I'm going to take this stuff here. And uh, when we change the value of a variable, that's called an assignment statement. And I'm going to get my indents all right. So it looks good. So let's see what this does. Okay. So it prints Charles and then it prints Charlie. Uh, and uh, we can change my name to dog. I don't know why we would do that, but the second thing is what gets printed out. All right. So, once you've uh, changed the value of a variable, the previous value of the variable is gone forever. It's never coming back. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of how uh, assignment works in Java. Okay, uh, we're not gonna write code for this one, but this is a, a little piece of vocab that you might need to know uh, for the exam or uh, you know for a quiz in class is uh, the final keyword. So uh, a variable that is declared, right? We make a declaration of a variable. And we're trying to repeat the vocab a lot so that we get used to it. Uh, when you declare a variable and there's this extra special keyword in Java called final, uh, and when we declare a variable and we say that it's a type double and it has a name pi and it has a value 3.14159, uh, if we say final at the front of that, that means we can't change the value. Um, it's a way of saying that we can't change it. And in real life, you wouldn't want to change the value of pi. So uh, this will not work. Uh, that would be a error. Okay, um, more... Uh, more vocab here. Uh, what we've got here, this is uh, this is called concatenation. So when you have uh, two pieces of string uh, data, or if we have strings and numbers, we can combine them into uh, single strings by concatenating them uh, using the plus sign. So this is uh, a use of the plus sign that you're probably not used to. Uh, you wouldn't do this uh, typically when you're, uh, you know, in uh, algebra class. You're not going to add together two words, but in Java, this is something that we do literally all the time, uh, and it's called concatenation, and you're gonna get just super used to doing this when you wanna print out the value of variables or you wanna print out variables and numbers combined or combine, combine two different strings, uh, you're gonna concatenate them and you're gonna do that with the plus sign. Um, so we can take this line of code here. But you know what I'll do here is I'll, I'll show you a better example. So we can system.out.print line and we can say, uh, my name is, and then we can add, can concatenate, uh, just gonna forget my semicolon. We can concatenate those two things and we can say that my name is dog. So this sort of, um, this sort of line of code here is so, 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 so common. So you'll get really used to doing it. It might be a lot of vocab now, but, uh, it'll get, it'll get pretty clear soon. Okay. So back to the slides. So uh, concatenation there is a type of what we call expression. So an expression combines information to get a new value. And so expressions, uh, that is a word that you used in seventh or eighth or ninth grade algebra, pre-algebra, whatever class. Um, when you have that expression like two times three plus five uh, and you need to do PEMDAS, those are expressions. Uh, and PEMDAS applies in Java as well. So There'll be questions on quizzes that you get in class or on the exam, uh, kind of testing your ability to do PEMDAS, literally, uh, because PEMDAS and expressions are a thing that happened in Java. So, you know, from, uh, you know, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, whenever you did it, that two times three plus five, you do the parentheses stuff first. So you evaluate that to eight and then you do two times uh, three plus five. So two times eight is now 16. So. Uh, the, 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 we call this operator precedence. Uh, we don't say PEMDAS in Java. We have a fancier word for it. Uh, we say operator precedence. Okay. So here's a list of all the operators in Java. Um, kind of the interesting one is that slash is divide. And then you'll get used to these two ones. They might seem like weird operators to have, but they're like crucial for programming. And we'll get into that in a later uh, video. But equals equals and not equals. Uh, that's kind of how I pronounce them. I literally say equals equals here, even though the the the, uh, the operator, what it means is it's asking, are these two things equal? So five equals equals five is true. Five equals equals four is false. So who you're talking to, they might pronounce it differently, but I literally say equals equals because uh, it's different than the equals that we had up above when we're doing um, assignment statements. That equals and the equals equals operator are totally different. So uh, if you get those mixed up, uh, you're gonna have a tough time. So uh, yeah, you need to get those uh, clear and uh, and figured out. Okay, 
So uh, just a few more slides here. We're on slide 17 of 19, and uh, we'll, we'll get this figured out. So um, when we have two ints, two integers, uh, we always round down. So uh, what we've got here is five divided by two is two when you round down, right? Um, that's pretty simple math. Uh, we've got that. And so in fourth grade, what you would say, and this is, this is really important. You need to put yourself back and forth fifth grade mindset. They taught you about division and they taught you about remainders. Remainders become important in Java in different scenarios. And you're gonna be tested on your ability to think about remainders on the uh, APCS exam, believe it or not. Uh, so in fourth or fifth grade, put yourself in this mindset, five divided by two is two, remainder one. If you have five pieces of candy and you divide them into two piles, you can have two even piles of two candies and then there's one left over, remainder one. So in Java, we can directly figure out what the remainder of dividing two numbers is by using this modulo operator. So the percent sign uh, is a really important uh, operator. And um, we might have a video on this channel where we go through and do like a bunch of modulo examples. Um, when I was teaching AP uh, CSA, I uh, had my students do like Mad Minute. So we would do literally like how many modulo questions can you get right in 60 seconds or in five minutes or whatever it was. Um, so uh, you got to get yourself back in that. Like what is the remainder mindset to do these uh, modulo problems? Okay. So just a few more things here. Um, so compound assignment statements, uh, a compound assignment statement is when instead of saying X equals X plus one, you want to change the value of a numerical variable. Instead of doing that, you can say X plus equals one, or you can say uh, X plus plus. And uh, you can tell that this code that I have here has a syntax error because I forgot the semicolons in it. But um, if you had these three lines of code in a row, um, if you had X equals five, if you did this, it would change X to six. This next line would change X to seven. This next line would change X to eight. Um, so there's X minus equals. Uh, there's X times equals. There's X divide equals. There's actually X modulo equals. Uh, those are much less common. Uh, there is no, uh, the, we have X plus plus, which means add one. Uh, there is no X times times. Uh, there's no X divide divide. There's no X uh, modulo modulo. That's not a thing. So. Uh, yeah, those are compound assignment statements for you. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, casting is uh, how we convert uh, between basically, oh, there are other situations in Java, we can get to much later uh, in the course uh, where you might need to do casting. But for the time being, uh, casting is really for converting between numerical values. So uh, if we uh, take 1.5 and 2 plus 2, that answer is 3.7. If we use this parentheses int, if we change that value into an int, uh, we're going to round down and we're going to put that in here. And then the most common situation uh, that you'll see casting, the most common situation is when you uh, cast the denominator of division to a double. When you divide two doubles in Java, maybe I didn't mention that before, when you divide two doubles in Java, uh, you don't round down, you get the exact answer uh, as a decimal. So uh, if you have two integers and you wanna divide them and you wanna get the answer, uh, you're going to uh, round down, or, or you're gonna, to get the exact answer, you need to cast uh, the denominator as a double, and then you will get a double as an answer, which means you'll get a decimal as an answer. So, uh, I have no more slides here. So that means that this video is coming to a close. So I hope this helps um, a lot of different vocab here. And this is kind of just getting your feet wet with Java and getting the basics of variables and expressions and printing and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.